Technique is the biggest thing, so you, you've got to be physically strong as well, but your timing and technique is one of the biggest things. You do see the odd uh, toe here and there get cut off in the in the chopping ring. I think it's 60% um, your timing technique and that sort of thing, and uh, probably 40% strength. Just to, to be in the crowd with in that arena, it's, it's packed, and the atmosphere of when they count three and the guys start chopping, and, and that, that arena, it just erupts. It's uh, amazing. It just gives you goosebumps sitting there watching it. You get there and you, you know, you've got to be on top of your game to do any good. You've got to be able to read the wood. You've got to be able to know what you're doing in less than a second. Before Jack and Jill, women weren't competing in the woodchop arena. It was purely male dominated. With the introduction of Jack and Jill, uh, you've seen women come in and we've been allowed to flourish. A huge array of events have come from the Jack and Jill. Yeah, I suppose because it is classed as the Wimbledon wood chopping, the, um, the logs are bigger and, um, and harder and it's really a, a good test for the um, best, best man to win. You know, all the competitors that uh, start out that want to chop in championships, they always want to win Sydney show, you know, it's the most prestigious event to win.